Sarah. Yes, uh, you mentioned um, a couple times today, you sort of emphasized diversity in the West Wing, uh, and you <coughs> talked about the president being very clear after Charlottesville and denouncing all hate. I just wanted to read a comment from a influential African American sportscaster from ESPN yesterday who said, Donald Trump is a white supremacist who has largely surrounded himself with other white supremacists. His rise is a direct result of white supremacy, period. He's unqualified and fit to be president. Why do you think, do you have a reaction to that? And is the president aware of that comment? And I'm not sure if he's aware, but I think that's one of the more outrageous comments that anyone could make, uh, and certainly something that I think is a fireable offense if by if ESPN. If the president was so clear, as he said, why do you think the influential uh, African American figures are, are saying things like that. I'm not going to speak for that individual, but I, I know that the president has met again with people like Senator Scott, who are highly respected leaders in the African American community. He's committed to working with them to bring the country together. I think that's where we need to be focused, not on outrageous statements like well, that one.